I am free. It is just after 10.30 my time at home, which means that I might be able to get in by 5, which means I could return my car tonight. Which would be nice, because I've got, I've got the memorial service for Jack at 10 in the morning tomorrow. And having to return the car tomorrow would be a big pain. Then I just got to get gas and get on the road. And by the way, I have still not, I am still more, have more than a quarter tank of gas left. After the whole trip down here and tooling around Mason, I still have more than a quarter tank. That's impressive. Anyway, I just got off. I love wheeling and dealing on the phone. Uh, <laughs> Cause, uh, no, not wheeling and dealing. But uh, I just had a nice conversation with uh, Gordon. Flashcam Gordon called me and uh, we chatted for a little bit. And then I talked to uh, my partner in crime, Steve Lord, who some of you remember is the guy who ran, ran away from Spigots at the Easter special. He pops up every once in a while on Spigots. But he and I have been writing together for 17 years. And we don't technically write together all the time. But we're always working together. I put him in everything. He's been on Spigots. He's been in every show I've ever done. Uh, we were in the comedy. Uh, we're in the comedy group together. You know, we've done acoustic music comedy tours together. Anyway, so he and I and our pal Dale from the comedy group, who is down in Austin, Texas now, we're writing a show called Scenes from the End, which will be done, performed once, at least the initial performance will be performed once, on December 21st, which is the end of the Mayan calendar and everything. Anyway, all the scenes, we're doing a reader's theater style, like a radio show, um, and all the scenes take place um, in the final moments before the sun expands and the earth blows up. So, uh, it's funny, it's tragic, it's dramatic, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, I've got some really cool scenes planned. So, you know, that's, that's that. So, long car rides always provide me with a chance to uh, 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 work on other stuff, like, like make plans and think. And uh, He and I were also talking about, uh, he's writing a play called An Evening with Millard Fillmore about a, a guy who's trying to write a one-man Millard Fillmore show. came a different way so that I could uh, stop and maybe have lunch with my uncle in Kokomo, uh, which I'm still planning to do, but now I am in a full-on uh, traffic jam. And the clock is ticking. There's an abuelo, so I can stop there and eat. Mm. Alright, I am here at Culver's in Kokomo, Indiana. And there's my Uncle Roger now. Coming to meet me for some quick grub on my way out. At Culver's, we put our heart and soul... Hello, sir. ...to prepare for our guests. From what up, Eli and I? ...to Wisconsin produced <laughs> dairy, we use only the finest and most wholesome ingredients. Cook to order and serve with a smile. Our I'm already parked here. Why are they trying to sell me on it? Crush you. I have three hours exactly to get from Kokomo to home in order to return my car. I don't think it's going to happen, which is too bad. But you know what? I can deal with it. I can get the car in tomorrow before the... I would much rather see my family. And I got to see Roger and have a, have a Coke and talk, chat for about an hour. So that's good. Why do I do that? This sucks. <sighs> yep. 
riveting YouTube viewing. It's so nice to have you to run to when the night beat the hell out of me. It's cold, it's dark, and I can't feel my heart because the night. Beat the hell out of me Lay me down into shadow Lay me down into dark Between these sheets and this bed of ours Can you, I say can you feel my heart Okay, so I'm home. There I am, magic hands again. Okay, thank you. I'm home. Uh, uh, our friend Mary is here. Hi. Mary and Millie. I, I'm shooting. Millie, stop pointing it out. I anyway, I'm home. I'm. <coughs> I made it. It took way longer. I still have the car. So. Yay. Yay. And we're very glad he's home because Yay. I was bored shitless. Oh. Here, That's take my, two. I'll just I'll just edit around you. Story of my life. Well, I aim the camera at you, and you're like, Oh my God, my hair! Oh my, my Lord! Hair Here, look at my back. Hey, we're doing. Uh, went to the memorial service today. I didn't shoot any of that, although it was amazing. I did like this New Orleans jazz funeral procession down the street, and now I'm here at Jalisco's, just down the street from me where I'm going to get Mexican food with uh, Maggie, and then we're going to watch Doctor Who. She comes. She ran six miles today. She did, and now I'm running into after, after walking like nine or ten blocks. I and... just ran into a truck. In my walking, I walked Oh, into a truck. okay. No, I just walked into the back end of a truck. Okay. Because I can't, I can't do that. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm fine. I'm just...